the best way to start out your morning? I don't know what is. What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. My name is Steve Fast. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. We are here with the Ram Rebel. We're taking this down to the shop. We're going to get some window tint correction done. I have my window tint guy coming. He's actually going to be doing the OBS and he's going to be doing a correction on this and we might be getting him to do something else in the shop as well. So that's how we're going to start out the morning and we got plenty more to come. Is a little chilly this morning. We're about 62 degrees and I have to say it is time for some heated seats and even the heated steering wheel. So we got Rob over here, the tint guy on the go. He will come to you and tint your windows as long as you got a place indoor to do it. What's the name of your company? Rad Solutions. All right, so his information will be in the description. If you guys are in the area, you want window tint done, definitely check them out. Thanks guys. All right, everybody, Rob just finished up with the window tint on the OBS Dodge and it looks awesome. Just check out the transformation this made. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but it's pretty dark in here. We went with 20% all around. We did the brow up top here as well. You can see how nice everything was cut and it just really transforms the look of this truck. Obviously everything still needs to dry and kind of the back of the windows is still a little bit dirty, but definitely a big improvement. Now, if you're wondering why I would tint the windows on a truck that just pretty much dismantled, well, we have no interior, so it's probably the best way to get in here, especially doing a slider. It's not gonna have to work around the headrest on the seats or anything like that. And we just basically get into here a lot easier and get it all done. So then we can continue on with our process on this truck, getting our third gen seats installed. I gotta make a few adjustments to our brackets so we can get those in. We got our carpet, which is sitting over here. And I've got some of where the 4x4 stick's gonna come out trimmed there just so we can get that laid in. But obviously I wanted to get those mounts built for these seats before we continued on with that. And we got our front bumper off here. I had to make a little bit of provision up here for the winch, which we might actually have to do a little bit more cutting on as well. I did have our winch plate all the way back to this frame member and I used the factory holes to actually bolt it in. And now that I've got all the wiring and everything on here, it's just a little bit too tight for my comfort level as far as where the condenser is. So I think what I'm actually gonna be doing is welding a piece of metal across the front here and we're gonna have a nice mounting point there. And then I'm gonna make some spacers for the back and then I'm gonna be able to bolt it to the actual frame of the truck. And then I've got some angle brackets here for the corners just so we have a really, really strong mount. Cause this truck's definitely gonna be doing some winching and we wanna make sure that everything is really strong as possible. So there's our quick little update on the OBS. It is coming along and I hope to have everything put together on that truck. I hope to actually get the entire paint job done before we get into the really cold weather. So I'm gonna be working hard at getting the cab corners done fixing the rust on the bed and getting that all together because it's really taking up a lot of space in the shop. And this big mess over here, I really want to get cleaned up. It is driving me crazy that we just, we have stuff everywhere. And just to get this truck finished, get it out of here is, is really going to clean up the shop. And that would be a really nice thing to come in here and have a nice clean area to work for our next projects. So now over here we have our 2019 Ram Rebel and you guys didn't really care too much for the rock lights the way I thought you might, but I guess LED lights isn't for everybody. And I'm a big LED light guy. So, I mean, honestly, look at the truck, the way it sits right now. If you didn't know the rock lights were there, you'd never know. I mean, everything is really clean. You open the hood, you can see the fuse and the relay, that's it. All the other wiring is really nicely hidden. So, I mean, it's kind of one of those things, I mean, on the Camaro, we have three zones of LED lighting. We have them in the louvers, we have them in the underglow, we have them under the hood. And when people see them at shows, I mean, they really do like them. So, I mean, I think it's more so something that if you saw it in real life, you might like it better, but I mean, each to their own, everybody's gonna like what they like. And when you build your truck, you build it your way. So with that being said, we do have another edition for the 2019 Ram Rebel. Let's go get the box and see what we got. Let's see what it is. I'll 
what we have here. More LED lights. No, I'm just kidding. We've got some WeatherTech no drill mud flaps for the 2019 Revel. So let's see if these are better than the ones that we had on the last Ram. We did an install video on the OEM ones and as a lot of people said in the comments after driving it for a while, the front ones especially filled up with all kinds of dirt and everything like that and they wouldn't drain out the little drain slots that are at the bottom and then you end up getting water sitting in there. So it just, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a good situation to have to clean those out all the time. Probably could have drummed out that hole a little bit bigger, but all in all, hopefully these are a whole lot better design and we're not gonna have that problem anymore. All right, so we got everything unboxed here. This is our front mud flap. You can see it's a completely different design than what we had from the OE ones. Over here, we just have a nice splash guard. There's no big bucket to collect all kinds of dirt and everything like that, like the OE ones have. I definitely should have gone with these from the start, but now we have another truck, so we get to do it all over again and be able to compare the two. And over here we have the rear flap. You can see really nice construction on all of these. They're marked left hand, right hand, all that kind of good stuff. You can see it. this one is a little bit larger being that it is on the rear and it should have a perfect fit. So now the first thing we're gonna do is just clean up the area where our new mud flap's gonna go. We're gonna start with the rears on this truck and then we're gonna remove these three bolts here for our factory hardware and get our new one in place. All right, now that we got our service nicely cleaned up, I'm gonna grab our eight millimeter on our quarter inch electric Milwaukee ratchet. And as I'm looking at the mud flap, I see there are actually four holes instead of three. So we're gonna remove this one as well, four in total, and then we're ready to put our new mud flap on. So now we're gonna take our left hand rear mud flap, we're gonna kind of line it up the best that we can. Start our screw into the factory hole. Get them all started loosely. Kind of see what our fitment's gonna be like. And we're ready to tighten them down. So let's have a little look at what the mud flap looks like from the rear. So you can see, very nice fitment here and everything like that. We do have a nice little cutout around here where this little kind of mud guard that comes from the factory is. So this kind of fits around that. And we do have a nice little bit of clearance here so we don't have to worry about any rubbing in between the mud guard and our fender flare. And they also include a little bit of film that you can put in between the mud guard and your actual painted surface. If you do have the painted fender flares or if you just have no fender flare whatsoever, obviously it's gonna be a different part number for those flaps, but they do include that so you don't have any rubbing between the guard and the paint. So now we're gonna repeat that process on the passenger side and we can move on to the front. So now that we've got our wheels turned in the front, just to kind of give us a little bit more room in here, we do have three bolts on this one and one little push pin that's gonna be down here. So you're gonna need a trim tool to get that one out. So let's get all that removed and let's get ready to install our front mud flaps. So as far as removing our factory push pin is concerned, there are a few different tools on the market to remove these fairly easily. Some of them you have to stick underneath and kind of pry back and they work fairly decent, but this one in particular is the one that I like to use the most because when you stick this underneath the head of the push pin, all you have to do is squeeze the handles and it pops right out. You don't actually have to kind of pry on anything and it just really kind of eliminates putting any marks on what you're working on. So for example, I'm just gonna stick this underneath, make sure the tool is underneath on both sides apply light pressure and we had to go chase our pin it did come out a lot easier than I thought but I will have a link for this tool in the description so if you guys want one of these definitely check it out so next we're gonna remove our three eight millimeters give this one more quick wipe down because there is a little bit of dirt that kind of collects behind those bolts so you want to get that removed before you install your new mud flap take our new guard Put our push pin in, get all of our bolts started loosely, and tighten them up. 
and our front mud guards installed. So now here we have the view from the rear of our new mud guards. You can see we have a really nice gap in here and these really don't require any adjustment. Basically, once you set them in place, that's how they're gonna be. And now we do have this protection here for our running board so we don't have mud coming off the tire and going all over here where we're gonna have to step into when we get out of the truck. Plus it's gonna keep all the stuff that comes off the tires from going all over the doors and all over the truck like we've seen before even with the tire shine, but if we ever get into some mud, this should definitely eliminate some of the splash up all over the side of the truck. Also, like I mentioned earlier, on our other 2019 that we had where we put the OEM front flaps on, there was kind of a hollow area in here where all kinds of mud and debris would collect. On these, you have nothing like that. It's a way, way better design than the OEM ones, and the fit and finish is absolutely flawless. So now we just have to repeat the process on the other side, on the front of our truck, and then all of our new WeatherTech mud guards will be installed, and then we can take the truck outside and have a better look at it in the daylight. Now would you look at that, now that we got it out in the sunlight, you can see how well these mud flaps suit this truck. It's exactly the same color as our fender flare, so you got no contrast between that. It's the same color of black, and actually the texture and everything matches the same as well. Now as we go over to the rear, you can see we've got lots of protection back here, and it should keep our truck a whole lot cleaner, especially when we put the tire shine on, it's not going to end up all over the truck. And now when we get some of that fall weather and the winter's coming up, we're gonna keep all that salt and nastiness off of our truck as much as possible and should work out really, really well. So there you have it, everybody. The mud guards from WeatherTech for the 2019 Ram Rebel. Definitely drop in the comment section what do you guys wanna see for the next mod on this build. We're gonna keep on going and doing awesome things to this truck to make this thing an absolute beast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.